Google Meets is probably the easiest options out there when it comes to setting up any video calls or any video conferencing. And I wanna show you exactly how to use it from scratch in this video, and I'll show you some useful tools that they have built in. To access Google Meet, just go to meet.google.com and press sign in right over here if you're not signed into your Google account already. Now, once you sign in or if you already are signed in, you're gonna land on this page. And here you have a few different options. You could start a new meeting. So if you press this, it's gonna give you three options. You could create a meeting for later. So this is gonna schedule a meeting. You could start one right now. So that's just gonna create a video meeting right this second. And then you could schedule it using the Google Calendar. I'll show you these three in a second. And over here, if someone shared a code with you using text message or email, you could type that code or that link and just press join. And that's just gonna have you join the meeting right now that you're invited to. So you could do that the moment you're joining a meeting. And then everything else, once we create one or join one is gonna look the same. Now, when it comes to setting up a new meeting, you could create one here and it's just gonna create this link for you, but it's not gonna let you kind of set up times and things like that. So I typically don't schedule for later using this, but this will create a link. This other one will create one instantly. And this third one is usually what you wanna do. This is gonna open up this page right over here. So you could go ahead and give your meeting a title on top. And then you could go ahead and choose a date. You could choose a time. So this is your start time and this is your end time. So I'll change it to a 30 minute meeting. And then you could set up a time zone here. I'll choose my time zone. And you could actually choose to repeat the meeting if you like. This is the option for repeating it. Let's say it's a weekly meeting. You could go ahead and change it to happen weekly on Thursdays, for example. The details of the meeting are gonna be over here. So if this is a location-based meeting, you could set that up. In this case, we don't need a location. And you could add any description that you wanna put here for your meeting. And over here, you could go ahead and add guests. If you know their email, you could just type in the guests over here. And when you add a guest, so now this is me, the organizer, and this is the guest I have now invited into the meeting that they're gonna get the invite link. And again, this is for a little bit later, so it's not right now, so I could go ahead and save it. And it says, would you like to send an email to invite people? As long as you invited people here, you could go ahead and send it from here. And it's gonna show up on your Google Calendar here, so this one is starting in a little bit. And once you schedule a meeting, if you go back to meet.google.com, they always appear over here. So if you have any meeting scheduled like this, this is what it's gonna look like. And you could click on it here and you will join the meeting from this page. Okay, this is before the meeting goes live. You could actually set up your camera and things like that, make sure everything is good. So right before I press join now, right over here, I could go ahead and make sure my microphone is good. So I could turn off my microphone over here. Now I'm using a different microphone for this video so I could talk through it, but this will mute you. And if you look at this blue icon over here, this is showing that there is audio going over here. And if you wanna change your microphone, you could actually click this right here. And this is the built-in microphone on my laptop. You could actually change that if you have different microphones plugged in. So if I plug this microphone for better sound quality, it will show up over here for me to choose. Same thing with your speaker. If you have headphones, which I recommend in these meetings, a lot of times you could actually go ahead and choose that. Like if you have an Apple AirPod or something, you could go ahead and choose that as a dropdown as long as it's connected to your computer. And if you have different cameras here, you could choose that as well. This is just a, a FaceTime camera I have on my laptop. And if you don't want to actually be on camera, you could just leave your microphone on and then you could turn off the camera. So this is the camera off right here. And this little option right here, you could actually use different effects for your background. So you could blur the background. This is this option over here. Or you could add professional background. So I, I'll actually show you a couple of these right now. So if I wanna change my background, I could choose one of these, for example. And it takes a second and there it is. Or if I wanna slightly blur my background, this is the natural one, I could blur it even more. And these are a lot of the presets that come with your Google Meets account, a lot of them look pretty good. So you also have filters over here. So if you wanna add any kind of filters, uh, you could go ahead and add those here. And you could go ahead and adjust your appearance. So if the lighting, like the lighting doesn't look quite right here, so I could try to improve it here. You could do a little touch up, and kind of smooth my face here. So subtle or really smooth here, that's gonna look a little unnatural. And then you could actually add a framing for yourself too. So you could reframe it to make sure you fit in the screen a little bit better. And then there's these styling options too, if you wanna add these kind of color changes to it too. Okay, now we're all set. We have our camera set up, we have our audio set up, and we could go ahead and join. And make sure you're on the right Google account on top. So double check that whoever invited you to this, if you're being invited to it, 
it's going to bring you to this page too. Make sure you're using the same email as the email they invited you to, just to make sure you're on the same accounts here. So I have multiple Google accounts, so sometimes that could be a little confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and join now. Now here we are inside of Google Meet. So let me show you what you're looking at on the bottom of the page here. So you have your microphone option here where again, you could change your microphone or you could change your speaker over here. So we already did the testing when we first started so we don't have to worry about that. The camera, if anytime you wanna go ahead and turn it off, just click right here. If you click this down arrow here, it's gonna give you the other options you have for camera. And you can see I'm still talking. That's why this is doing that little animation. If I turn off my microphone, now it stops. Now they can't hear me and they can't see me. So sometimes you do want both of those to be turned off. Next to that, you have closed captioning here. So this will actually try to create this live caption here as you're talking, which is really nice and it works pretty well. I'll turn that off for now. These reactions, if you wanna send reactions here, you could go ahead and send reactions just like this and it shows up on the corner right here, it's popping up. Now the next one is right here, which is sharing your screen, which you wanna do a lot of times, so present now. And you have three different options over here. So you could share a Chrome tab. So you need to be using Google Chrome and this is gonna show any tab that you have open and you could share any of those tabs by clicking on it, including anything on YouTube, for example. If you share anything that has audio, you should do it this way. You should basically pull up a YouTube video like this and then make sure also share audio tab is turned on. If this is off, they can't hear what you're sharing. So it's best to put your video online on YouTube or Vimeo.com, then share it using this option here, pull it up as a tab and then share it that way. You could also share different windows. So any window that you have open, including your email, or you could share your entire screen. Sometimes this is easier if you're gonna switch back between a bunch of different applications and tabs to share. But most of the time you wanna choose a very specific application and just share that there or a specific Google Chrome. So if I share this Google Calendar tab, for example, and press share. So when you share a screen, this is gonna open a new tab showing that screen. Let me go back to the meeting. This is what people see. So they see the screen you're sharing, but they see you also in the corner. But this is what I'm looking at. So I'm just gonna have my full attention on the screen. If I wanna stop sharing, I just have to press stop sharing on top. Now this tab stays open. So in order to go back to my meeting, I have to go to this other tab and I'm back and I'm not sharing my screen. Right here, if you have any question, you could raise your hand and it's gonna give a little pop-up to the presenter that someone has a question. So I'm gonna Take that off. Then these three dots here, you have a bunch of other options like you could change the layout. So instead of looking like this, like how it's set up right now in auto, you could do tile mode or spotlight mode where the presenter is gonna take up the whole screen. The sidebar is really nice. All the listeners are gonna show up on the left side like this and the presenter is gonna have a big screen. So you could actually change the layout once you have some people. So experiment with that. If you have any questions while the meeting's going on, they do have this little chat with everyone option. So right over here, you could go ahead and type in any chat and send it out and everyone's gonna be able to see it or go ahead and reply to it from here. And if you wanna share the meeting with someone else while you have this up, let's say you start an instant meeting and you wanna share it. If you press I right here, you could always copy the meeting link from right over here. If you just press this, send this to someone via email or text message and they could jump into this meeting and they could jump into it from their phone too. And you don't have to install anything. It's just a website, really simple to use. They do have an app. They have an app for mobile devices, for example, but you don't need it. You could just do this on the website. Now, while you're in the meeting, you could also press leave call. That's this red option down here. It's gonna end the meeting here. So if there are other people in the meeting and you're not the presenter, they could still continue. So you could always leave a meeting like that. And you could always rejoin the meeting too. And it's gonna bring you back to this rejoin page where I could press join again. And then I could jump back in the meeting. But if I end it here, and then if I'm all done, I could return to the home screen. And again, this is the same place where it could start a meeting. Any meeting that schedule is gonna show up here on the right side, and I could enter code to join any other meeting. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.